And today we're going to talk about claw toes and hammer toes and mallet toes. Very common disorder in the forefoot and uh, sometimes that language gets mixed up or people don't really know the difference in a claw toe and a hammer toe. So let's kind of go over that, okay? So we start with the mallet toe. The mallet toe is where the distal toe bends down. So you think of it like a hammer toe, but really it's a different joint. So the distal toe bends down. How do we treat that? If it gets bad, you can straighten it out surgically, but it's not an overly common disorder. Next, we talk about hammer toes. It's more what we call the PIP or proximal interphalangeal joint, much more common disorder where you have this bending of the toe at this joint, more the proximal joint of the toe, and that can be a more common disorder that people complain about. There's no a conservative treatment for that. You can try digital pads or, to cover that area, but to really treat it, you have to do that surgically. And the way we do that is just remove that joint and pin it straight. And then the final thing is the claw toe. And the claw toe is actually a combination of all of these things. It's actually a pulling up of the toe at the base of the toe and a bending of the toe where the hammer toe is. So it actually combines several things within the toe. And again, that's a little bit more serious diagnosis. Again, it doesn't do well with conservative treatment. If it bothers you enough, we tend to do that surgically. And the only thing we add to the hammer toe surgery by taking out that joint, but we also have to go back at the base of the toe and generally release the capsule and release the tendons and then again pin it. And usually that works quite well.